you are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Man, I'm here with the Ambitions review, recap, all that good stuff. If you're new, hey, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that beautiful stuff, man. You know the vibes, happy Wednesday, happy hump day, all that good stuff, man. Man. Man, listen, let me tell you something. This show, I don't know if it's gonna make it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, you know, I like it. You know, I like it, but my reason for liking it is only because it gives me something to watch. Uh, Wednesday mornings, because I do not stay up till 11 o'clock trying to watch nobody TV show. So, it's the only reason why I like it. Give me something to watch. So, anywho, boy, we got us one last night, man. I was, because, you know, I was watching the show, and I, you know, I'm going to get this rant, and I'm going to get into it. I was watching the show, and, you know, the show about a good hour long, you know, with commercials and all that good stuff. And I was like, I mean, this show just ain't going to make it. Nothing has happened. The banks, staffing in, like, I just don't know. So then we get to the last, the final, what, two, three minutes of the show or whatever. And man, I got to start it off right there. So this, so, 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 y'all listen. They gave it to me last night, man. They gave it to me. So Damien Cross, Damien Cross or whatever, Damien Frost, whatever his name is, he showed up to Titus' job. And, um, he tells Titus, you know what I'm saying, that he gonna do him a favor, you know, he got a little info for him, whoop the whoop. And you know, Titus like, you know, hey, look at him, let me tell you something, there's cameras in here, so if you try to pull that stunt, me putting my hands on you again, is it ain't gonna happen again, right? So Damien, he was like, brother, I, I, I'm doing you a favor, I sent a little something to you. Your email. Now what pissed me off, but at the same time, I'm like, man, this joker is a low-key genius. Oh, my bad. I don't know. I'm watching. Okay, we're good. It's still good. So, anyway, at the same time, I'm saying to myself, man, this joke was sending the email to Titus, work email, the Pure Four email. And I'm just like, oh, you could, dog, you could have sent it to the Hotmail, the Gmail, the Yahoo account. He sent it to his work email. So, I'm about to get into it, y'all. So, He's whatever it was, he sent him, but but uh what his name? Titus. He was man, he went home or more get home. He in the door. And I couldn't tell if he was crying. I didn't really care if he was crying, but you get what I'm saying. He was in the dark waiting on him. That helpful turned on the lights. Well, why you sitting in the dark, honey? You know, what's going on? And Titus just like, you know, I believe he called a, a liar or something of that nature. Let me see if I got him in notes. Uh because you know, Damon Cross told him that he had his wife all over Birmingham. And y'all know, you, you know, you don't want to be told that. You know what I'm saying? So, nevertheless, he, Stephanie gets home, turn the light on, and he just started talking about he's done. And she's like, What you talking about? What has Damien done now? You know what Damien did. He got up in them guts. That's what he did. He got up in them guts, girl. So anywho, Titus put his head up and said, more than one time? And she was like, what are you talking about, Titus? You know what we talking about. You lied. And he was just like, you told me you only made a mistake once. And she was, no, no, no. He said, you told me it was only one time. And then she gonna try to, you know, do the play on words. And she said, I told you I made a mistake on the one. He said, I'm helpful. Don't you try to be using play on words on me. So don't you, don't even try to, 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 to do a play on words about what I was told from you. Then Titus said, then you had the nerve. This one hurt his soul. He said, you had the nerve to compare me and him. She said, oh no, baby, it wasn't nothing like that. And he said, I read the text messages, at least all of them I could stomach. And so she over there, you know, she, you know, she trying to start a little, a little, a little crying face or whatever. Oh, girl, we ain't got time for that. We, you know, we, you know, we putting down right now. So Titus said, oh, and I got this little voicemail. Man, that helpful left a voicemail on Damien, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, cell phone and said, oh, honey, you make me come so hard when I'm with you. And, and when I'm not with you, 
you know, I just ache that, you know, we are, we know we have to be apart. And you know, he's never here. He don't touch me the way you touch me and all that. Oh Lord, Titus about to commit suicide. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> You know, I ain't let him to give the real dog. I was like, why well, you walking with a suicide? Well, you know, hey, if you want a man to jump off a building, boy, you just heard the pride, and boy, Lord, have mercy, proud hut. So, anyway, then she had nerve to say, well, you know, Ty, I wouldn't be with him because she was always working. See, that's it. That's what I'm talking about, man. We need some action. So he should have hopped up and, you know, act like he a part of the put them things on or something. Like, come on, man. 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 But nevertheless, he's just like, I'm done, I'm out, he leaves, and you, my background, she over there crying somewhere on one of my sides, I don't know which side, but she, you know, and then you know her crying scene <clears throat> started off pretty decent, then it got bad, then it went back to pretty decent. So, essence, she did a great job, or a decent job with that. So, anyways, uh, <clears throat> moving on with the rest of the show, uh, it's going to be very quick. Um, Rondell will not sign those agreement papers for Stephanie and her English role as the Bella man. So Stephanie trying to track her down, excuse me, get her to sign it. Rondell was like, nah, get out of my face. My daddy ain't signing either. You know, all that beautiful energy that she was giving. So then, um, you know, excuse me, later in the show, Stephanie had a meeting with the English Rose partners or the investors and they was like, they're going to let her know, you know, what they want to do. And obviously they pulled out. Greg Peters hit Stephanie up like, hey, is that on my control now? You know, we need to talk ASAP. So Stephanie calls or her private security bodyguard people and tell them that she need eyes and ears on Rondell um, Lancaster 24-7 day and night. And I'm just saying to myself, hell, if you would have just left her alone and, 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 and you know, tried a different approach, you... You wouldn't even have to go behind your brother back behind her back to high security. Like, you such a snake to what I know is killing you to protect her. All you had to do was you go about a different one. Well, you care about that right now. Also, this episode, uh, Marvin and Marilyn goes to Evan and let Evan know that they are not going to be bringing Beta New Electric to Atlanta. They chose Charlotte because Charlotte does not have a black melon bed. You know, when he did referring to his wife, he was upset, went home, had a conversation with Stephanie. Stephanie was just like, oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I got something for him. He said, nah, you done did enough. You sit back and let me leave from once, a, you know, once and all. So anywho, um, Evan, he comes up with a plan. He gets in contact or come in contact with, I guess, the uh, uh, some man by the name of Grant Creighton. He's a huge investor. Uh, He's, he's a part of the uh, Beta New Electric, whatever. And he said, you know, basically, if y'all don't bring y'all business to the A, we're going to let him know about your wife stepping out, cheating, possibly your, your child not being your child. And so, of course, Marilyn was trying to tell Marvin, like, don't take the deal. It's all bluff. He tells her to shut the hell up. She didn't cause enough trouble. I was like, oh, how much is it? I was just like, you know, he, he got to protect his business and all that good stuff. And I understand now, you know. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you now. <clears throat> now, nah, I'm trying to keep this thing short. Anyways, so long story short, she kind of admits in this moment that she spiked Stephanie Manhattan drink and, you know, yada, 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 and all that type of stuff. So then afterwards, we finally get a sex scene which didn't really do nothing for me or whatever, but we finally get a sex scene from Stephanie and Evan. I mean, we 10 episodes deep. So, yeah. I mean, it, it may have been one in episode one or two, but I don't really remember. Um, stay on the whole Stephanie storyline. Early in the show, Rondell goes to see Titus for help and he says he can't help her, but you know, he's so in love with that old trick, that old, that old conniving, cheating helper, or more. Later in the show, he decided to help Rondell at the perfect time. And Stephanie came to talk to Rondell, told Rondell if she don't sign them papers, she'll be making the biggest mistake of her life. 
And then Titus came in, saved the day, got the judge to grant some type of injunction that gives Rondell uh, an extra week to get the signatures that she lost. And like I said, by the time it's always, signatures ain't even needed no more at this point because all of the investors for the English Rose <clears throat> development then backed out. So, it, you know, it's really not needed. So, um, you know, that was pretty much that. Um, you know, Bella True, you know, yeah, I, mean, I don't really care to talk about what she got going on, you know, other than a whole bunch of foolishness. She think it's a good idea to go take her contract after she done signed her name uh, to, to Stephanie to see if it's, you know, some some crazy land council wording up in there where she getting gypped off <clears throat> and all of that. And, Stephanie was like, well, damn, how the hell are you working with them? Like, and, you know, Stephanie was just like, you ain't that good. You made my dress, but you ain't good enough to be working with, you know, Stephanie, a hater. We all know it. But other than that, I believe that was pretty much the show. We find out that that helped with her let Damien Cross take her all up and through Birmingham, Alabama, and telling him how much he made her do X, Y, and Z. Boy, that hell for ain't nothing. Well, I knew, I knew I could stand him. Y'all know, you no know, men can't take it. We can't take it and cheat on that. You know, you know, her tightest defense. And you know, you you know, you convinced him just one time, everything was good. But when he find out it was one, two, three, four, and then Snoop Dogg, uh, <clears throat> one, two, three into the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. It don't matter. He didn't hit it too much. It's over. I know it's a teacher. I know he coming back, but it, it's over. Damien Cross has did exactly what uh, Stephanie Lancaster needed him to do. Come in, break the marriage up, at least for the moment. Um, Amora crying over there, one of these sides. She crying, uh, <clears throat> you know, so that was the show, man. But it ended with a bang. It ended with a bang, man. And I'm, I'm excited to see next week's episode. You know, I may stay up. No, nah, let me stop lying. But anyways, um, let me see if I got any like. Oh, uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day, you know the vibe. I'll catch y'all later. I'm out here, peace.